Hi there and welcome to my animation channel. Thanks again for joining me. You're most welcome. Today I'll be looking at how I use 3D in my 2D form that I'm currently making. The form I'm making is a short The Painter on Safari, which is currently in production. And although the movie's in 2D, there are parts to it that I will be doing and have done in 3D. Looking at the plane, I did the plane in 2D, and that's possibly something that I should have done in 3D from the start because it would have been easier. It was quite a mission actually to draw the plane with all the iterations that I needed for it to do the turns. And even then it's only really in one dimension because it's um, it's it's pitch flat. So it's, it's basically going horizontal. So it's the 360, I managed to create a 360, but if I wanted it to dive and, and climb and roll and I wouldn't be able to do that, not in the 2D realm because, well, I'd, I'd have to draw every frame for that and it would have been quite a mission. So this is something that I would go back and do in 3D and perhaps should have done. And then the other one would be the land cruiser that, that I've created. The one here that I created in 2D, I've created obviously broken it up into levels so that you got the seats on separate levels so I can put the tourists or the passengers in and they will be either behind or in front of seats depending where they sit. So it's all been drawn like this to break up for a, for a 2D shot and again like the plane it's drawn really at one elevation if you want to call it that so it's it's slightly looking down on it but if i wanted to have a view from the top or a view from the ground looking up etc etc all those views again it would be a matter of having to redraw that so a lot of work and again possibly something that that i should have done from the get-go in 3d now this one i will be doing in 3d i'm not sure i'll go back and do the cessna caravan again i, I think that's only going to be coming in right at the end of the movie again and it's probably not necessary but this land cruiser is going to be throughout the movie it's going to be a central part to the movies so this will probably be my first asset that i create will be this land cruiser so the first part of this movie that i'm currently working on that i'm putting into or 3d or using 3d is this fly through scene here and it's basically going to be a scene of flamingos flying down a river valley along some cliffs on the left and there'll be a river below them and sandbanks etc etc to the right and i was busy doing this in 2d i'd i'd made these cliffs here and to get the illusion of of movement of these flamingos which are going to basically be quite stationary the background is going to be moving so that background is going to move from the right to the left so i created this in open tunes basically it's a um, couple of lines to give me a perspective and i drew in some lines for where the cliffs will be and i tried to set it up to create the illusion that the that the cliffs are going past the flamingos as they fly i ran into the trouble of perspective the objects furthest away from you will be moving the slowest towards you and the objects right close to you in other words going past this flamingo will be moving really fast so after battling with this for a while i decided that um, this really is something that i i should per perhaps do in 3d so i got my blender open and created this environment there's quite a bit of mesh work here perhaps more than i needed but i didn't i wanted it nice to be nice and detailed and smooth when i'm finished with it so what i'm doing here is just using the um, mesh to create some cliffs and some mountains with valleys in between on the left there just um grabbing grabbing the vertices and faces and dragging them and uh, just slowly building this valley out then i'm setting up the camera to do a fly through and the idea is here is that it flies along the cliff walls like that and then right at the end it actually goes up like that and then it will end up focusing on the lodge uh, the bush lodge that is perching on the top of the last cliff or peak so that is a fly through as planned and here it is rendered my first render which was just trying to get this thing to look look right and the lodge will be up there 
Once I'd got that set up satisfactorily, then I went back and I selected the mesh and, and broke it up into different uh, materials. Uh, so it will have cliff face, which is I've made in green here, light green, the grass and bush at the top of the cliffs, dark green. Uh, this is the sand banks will be yellow and obviously water blue. Then I got hold of my materials. That's the rock for the cliffs. That's the gravel or sand for the sandy beaches and that's the water for the river. Um, I haven't done the grass yet. I applied the materials and then I did my fly through and it started to look like this which I was pretty happy with. This has no lighting, real lighting uh, set up. It's just um, the beginning of the material stage. So it still needs to be set up in the lighting. Then I rendered that, that art and brought it into open tunes and put it as a background and had my flamingo fly through it. And I don't think I would have got such a good effect if I'd carried on trying to do this in 2D. So there's an example of uh, using 3D in, in a 2D film. And it's something that I'll continue to do as I say, I'll be doing that for the vehicles and there may be some more assets like the game lodges, etc. that I might, might be doing in 3D. And that's all for now. Thanks very much for joining me. Please go ahead and subscribe. Join my mailing list if you want to be part of that and otherwise we'll see you around here soon i hope all the best take care bye